What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in this vlog, I'll be sharing few tips and tricks for all the people who are applying for Fall 2023. And I hope you find this vlog helpful and let's get started. So my first tip would be keep your energy high because it's been 4-5 months since this entire process started. You first gave your GRE, then you wrote your TOEFL and it kinds of become draining and you you know you're like 40 percent your battery till you reach this final stage of actually applying so my first tip is keep energy high and give your 100 percent in all the applications fill out all your applications properly and yes so that's the first tip second tip would be if you haven't shortlisted your universities yet shortlist your universities properly and create an excel sheet this means you keep a track of your you know when the application starts or if that university has an early round or like does it do rolling admits so coffee are university rolling admits karti and they start you know reviewing your applications as soon as you submit it and they keep sending out the admits and rejects so jo universities are early rolling admits karti hai, like i know northeastern does that oh, 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 arizona oh, 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 does that even sgsu does that like sgsu ke do rounds hote hain uh, it's not rolling rolling per se but they have like first round of admits and reject then they uh, roll out the second so jo log jo universities rolling karti hai make sure you apply asap in that because that's when your chances are really high so my third tip is when you are filling applications don't miss out any section or any column which is not necessary but fill out everything that will give you an edge and here in US I think universities review every material that you send to them so that would be the third tip say hi to Vineet so Vineet is hey, hi. an SAI student Vineet you wanna give a intro a brief intro about yourself hey, hi everyone uh, myself Vineet I joined SJSU this semester and that's it I guess so Vineet and me we live in the same community I am in class and I am going to make a lot of food so I am going to make a Maggi So Vineet, tell us the rest of the tip is that make your account on Reddit and there are subreddits for it There are graded missions for it, so join graded missions so you can find out what's going on there and what's going on there and when you apply to your universities, you will have a tension that there is no decision to be released. So for all these things, get on this subreddit, grad admissions. So you can stay updated and even you can ask stuff. You will know what's going on, but don't do it too much. There is also anxiety. But just be there so that you don't miss out on any important information. I don't think I can properly figure out how much water is going to be in the bag. हमेशा या तो काफी कम डल जाता है और बहुत ही सूखी मैगी बनती है या फिर बहुत ज़्यादा बनता है उसको फिर बहुत देर तक बॉईल करना पड़ता है ताकि वो प्रॉपर्ली हो जाए। Let me know in comments if you have any tips and tricks for this. Also my next tip would be so when you start applying, when you start with your applications and जब तुमने first university में apply कर दिया, tell yourself this that it's fine even if you don't get into a single university in this season because you can't predict anything and you have done your best, you gave your exams well, you did your applications well. Uske baad jo bhi result ho, it's not anything related to you. Theek hai? Just tell yourself that. Because kaafi lamba process hota hai ek saal ka and if you don't get anything at the end, it could become really stressful. So pehle si apna wo mindset rakho ki I gave my best and it doesn't matter baad mein jo bhi kuch bhi hota hai. But what you can do is you can be smart and prepared and proactive throughout the whole journey. और अगर तुम्हारे ये माइंडसेट रहेगा कि कुछ भी हो सकता है, यू विल बी इवन मोर प्रोएक्टिव एंड यू नो स्ट्रेस नहीं होएगा एंड यू विल आई थिंक हैंडल सिचुएशंस बेटर। बाकी मैगी बन गई है, बढ़िया बनी है, थोड़ा सा पानी कम रह गया इस बार भी। सो आई थिंक दैट्स मोर ऑफ इट गाइस एंड जस्ट डू योर एप्लीकेशंस � and yes, so after this, I'll just add the snippets of advices from few of my friends. Uh, let's see what they have to say. So Saksham, how did you shortlist universities while applying for MS? I think the basic thing for shortlisting universities is like you need to go to the university site and check on the courses they are offering and what are your interests and the specialization they are offering for the course you are willing to take. 
apart from that like you need to contact your seniors and like ask about the professors who are like good enough like for my myself i asked about like professor guzun and carlo rojas for this machine learning and data mining you asked so, them before actually applying yeah, for this yeah 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 uh, uh, one of my seniors yeah so what sell what was your preference while shortlisting university so i just did two things i ranked the universities and uh, based on my gpa i tried to select those universities in which i can get into and my second was the location okay. and since sjs was in the bay area i feel I, i thought that it would be easier to get into the companies since most of the companies are preferring not preferring actually uh, but yeah it's easy for you to apply if you are in the bay area make your sops just the way the university wants i think the university has cut down the limit to 800 words so make sure you follow the 800 word limit instead of giving the whole sops um so yeah i'll start with the lor um like a major tip for the lor would be uh, reach out to professors or your supervisor who you closely worked with so one of the mistakes i find people doing is that they would ask somebody who's the hod or uh, like a ceo of the company you interned in even if you don't know them personally or they've not supervised you closely in any project so do not do that because they can't offer any insights on who you are um so that's one and for your sop probably the best tip would be uh, do a lot of self introspection like figure out what you want why you want to do what you want to do and just keep it real um don't just say <laughs> i started coding from age 3 or since the day i was born if that's not true what was your opening sentence um like i was just getting to that <laughs> thanks devinch but um yeah so i wanted to do um a career in medicine i wanted to pursue biology but i did, uh, and then i switched careers and i made sure i addressed that so my opening sentence was something like why there was a switch uh, and why what attracted me to computer science given i wanted to do medicine which was something along the lines of um, <clears throat> how hardware and software can be correlated or compared to like the body and soul of a human being and like how and yeah that, that it had something to do with that and then it set out with how why i was shifting and my reasons for shifting so yeah if you are uh, you know like a management student switching to technology because you feel uh, you need both uh, it's a two way street and like you want to balance both uh, and you know be a technopreneur or something make sure you address that uh, and uh, yeah if you're shifting careers basically make sure you or uh, tell them the reason for your shift that way you have a better chance to get in so that's it guys this is the end of the vlog that's all the advice and tips and tricks that i have to give to you i hope you guys like this video and see you in the next vlog